Can you tell me what's going on today? Today they're doing the stand-ups for the Anime 20 girls. They're going somewhere and my sisters are going to Tamiya and Tiana. And I have to do this. Here's an introduction video of what our under 20 women's team is expected to be enjoying during their competition. The NMI Soccer Training Center. My name is Russell Zapata, Executive Director of the NMI FA, and I welcome everyone again to our NMI Under 20 Women's Team Send Off Ceremony. Our young ladies will be participating in the AFC Under 20 Women's Asian Cup with the host Uzbekistan in 2024. So here's a quick recap. Our young team has been drawn in Group B of the competition and they will be joined by teams Nepal and host Palestine. So here's a quick, quick recap for all the groups and participating teams in this year's AFC Under-20 Women's Asian Cup competition. UAE was drawn together to join our NMI ladies, but for recent events, they have pulled out of the competition, so our ladies is drawn in a three-team group. There are three match days in the competition. The first match day, our ladies will be by while Nepal and Palestine place each other. They will begin their competition on match day two on March 10th against host Palestine. They'll be playing three in the afternoon. On the final match day, they'll be joined and played against Nepal. Hosting the ladies, they'll be playing in the Faisal Al Husseini Stadium. It's a big stadium with 21,000 seats. Hopefully it'll be filled and that girls will enjoy a tremendous atmosphere while they play in Palestine. It's a long way over to West Asia, traveling almost half the distance of the globe. The girls will be leaving on March 1, but before they get to their competition, they'll be uh, going to their training camp in Manila. On March 5th, they make their journey over to Jordan, transiting through UAE before arriving in Jordan, and they'll travel on land on their way over to Palestine. Their competition and return will start on March 13th, and they should all journey back home and arrive safely on March 15th. We have some special remarks from our distinguished guests. First, for a few special remarks, my call on Honorable Lieutenant Governor David Appetine. On behalf of Governor Arnold Palacios and myself, I want to thank the Northern Mariana Islands Football Association for putting together this special set-up ceremony for our football team as they travel to compete at the AFC U220 Women's Asian Cup. Our senior minds should be proud of our women's football team and have to be proud of our great progress to enter competitions away from home. But other strong teams wait to perform their best. I know. Our cinema team continue to reach new heights in sports 
the mega head went to put our cinema on the map of the world class football. I know you have great heart for the toughest match, and that in your heart you will raise our cinema flag with confidence and pride for the world football community to see. May I call on for his special message, NMIFA President, Mr. Jerry Tan. But before I speak, since it's very nice to see my friend from Rhoda, Senator Mendiola. Senator, I'd like you to come up and say a few words. <coughs> because, like as I said, not, in, not only you are from the Senate, but you're the dad, so. Yes, Jerry, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, really, to the team, on behalf of my office, as a father, I wish you guys well. On behalf of my family, my wife, your siblings, we wish you guys well, good luck. And we hope that you guys bring home the win. Thank you, thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Senator. Thank you so much for taking your time to be here. I think, I'm sure you know, it means a lot to our players, our coaches, and our parents also. Hi, parents. Thank you for being here for your children, your daughters, what can I say? Send-off ceremony is always very, very special because we are seeing our boys and girls uh, going, in this case, very, very far away again. I think the last time our ladies went for an official tournament before pandemic is probably almost four years ago. And our boys had the opportunity to compete last year. They went to Jordan and Australia. And I'm sure at that time, our girls said, when is our turn? Well, today is your turn. And they are again also going to Middle East. And I've been to Middle East a couple times just the last few months. And I'm telling you, it's a long journey because it's seven time zones across between the east where we are and the west. Unfortunately, AFC covers a huge area. And I want to really recognize um, the sacrifice that everybody involved in preparing for a national team Coming to a send-off ceremony may seem easy, but it took years of preparation. And they have come out and really spent so many hours right here on this pitch. Uh, I had a little taste of their, how good they are last Sunday, because I play against them, right? You make me look like a fool. but. It's really, really important for us to prepare our national team. We have U17 girls coming up in April, a little bit closer, called Thailand. And we also have Macau, actually, should be coming up later this year for East Asia football for the men's and the women. We have Fuso later this year in the Philippines, we probably would have a Marianas Cup against Guam. So there are many more tournaments after the long absence because of the COVID. Asian Football Confederation is one of the five confederations under FIFA, and every team also is competing for the World Cup qualifying. It's very, very high level. So for NMI to be able to have the opportunity to compete, I, I just really so happy for our girls here. So I want to thank AFC for the opportunity to, for always inviting us, including us, into the AFC competition. This is one of the very, very important competition in preparation for 2024. So at the same time, I also want to thank and acknowledge our team officials, which they will be introduced later on. So you can see, other than player, we always had about seven or eight officials that follow the team and take good care of them. So. Thank you, you guys, for preparing for the team and also taking good care of them in a very, very uh, long journey, to say the least. Okay, so good luck to NMI team. Do your best, okay? 
and we're proud of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Vicky Azuka, for her remarks. Good evening, everybody, parents, our honorable guests, and club, club officials, um, and my national team, and the officials. Um, I'm so happy to be here to see all of you. As I remember many of you when you were, I think, you six, you seven, eight. And I'm so happy that a lot of you have you con continued on from our grassroots program to the national team. It's very challenging to get uh, a pool of players of women. And so it's really good because I think you are definitely role models for all of our little girls that are coming out to play. Thinking back also, um, all the hard work that you put in at the club level, at the national level, and all the behind the scenes work from our NMI staff and officials. Um, I'm so excited for you after the long hiatus from the pandemic to see this big delegation going again. It does remind me of the old times when we had big delegations going and to very far away places such as where you're going to Palestine. Um, the opportunity to travel and meet new friends and play against teams, unimaginable, um, is just a wonderful opportunity as our president has stated. So again, I wish you all the best. Enjoy the experience and please have fun and come back our heroes in every way. Thank you. Ladies, congratulations on the effort that you've put forward to hard practices. I've come uh, to witness the facility um, in the construction we've been doing over the course of the last uh, year, um, but also in the last few weeks with the canopies that are being put up. Uh, I have noticed that you've been working very hard. Uh, parents, we've, as you know, been finished the second pitch and the ladies and the men's teams have been working very diligently, very hard on both fields so that they have a full field to practice on all through the evening if uh, need be. And again, congratulations for all your hard work. Uh, continue it and we'll hopefully see you in future at colleges and maybe back in the CMI coaching a lot of our younger players that are coming through the ranks. Um, so we're hopeful that you grow with soccer um, use it as an opportunity to grow through education. Um, and then please come on back to the CNMI because we definitely need um, our participation of these young women. Congratulations to the team for uh, putting together this effort and uh, congratulations to all the parents for uh, sending your kids off to uh, this wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you, Executive Team Member Alex. Allow me to introduce our delegation, Team Northern Mariana Islands. First off, we have the team officials guiding our young players. As the head of delegation, we have Coach Koo. <laughs> Leading the team as head coach, we have Coach Jimmy. <laughs> Assistant Coach Jimmy, Together, we have May Ito and Coach Ronell of Canada. Our team manager, our executive committee member, Ms. Catherine Natal. She will be assisted by Ms. Emma and Ms. Becky Vargas. And our team doctor, physiotherapist joining the team is Ms. Hazel Malasa. And here are our players for Team NMI. First up, player number one, our goalkeeper, Desea Mignola. Player number two, our midfielder, Ms. Nathanette Blas. Player number three, our defender, Julie Chavez. Player number five, our midfielder, Aubrey Castro. Player number six, defender, Christina
midfielder, player number 11, Alicia Aguilar. Goalkeeper, player number 12, Harris Carrion. Joining us from Illinois, our midfielder, Stephanie Flores. Defender, player number 14, Sofia Quinto. Player number 15, another midfielder, Tiana Kalevin. Player number 17, our midfielder, Audrey Castro. Player number 18, defender, Cassie Ridges. Christina Atelik to the front, please. Now, a message from our team. I call on for a few words, our executive committee member and also team manager for our delegation, Ms. Catherine Atal. Papa Days and Chiruami, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming out and uh, sending off our girls, participating and supporting this adventure for them. Um, you know, when I was asked to be a team manager for this squad, like, I was very, I'm very honored and very privileged to be able to witness their journey into this AFC tournament. To be able to be, to be a representative and wear your flag on your heart, in your uniform, and represent in, in that level is such a huge honor. And I've always been proud to be a parent of my boys and my daughter who have been able to participate in these international tournaments. And now I feel very honored to be able to witness this, not even as a parent, but even a part of your team. And so um, on be, I, I would like to say thank you to President Jerry Tan and, and also for the, the officials here of uh, allowing me to be a part of your journey. And I'm so excited to be able to witness all your growth in this tournament. Um, parents, you know, we, we appreciate all the sacrifice that you've done in allowing your your your, play, your daughters to come out and play, spend extra time here on the pitch. 
I know it's a lot of time and sacrifice, but you know, on, on behalf of NMIFA, we thank you so very much, because without you and your support, this would not be possible. So thank you again very much, and uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Exco. Catherine, and representing our players, team captain, Christina Atale. supporting us as we go out to this tournament. Um, I would like to thank NMIFA, uh, the staff, our delegation, uh, the VIPs, and Mr. Jerry Tan for giving us and giving us this opportunity and guiding us through it. Um, we are absolutely honored to represent the CMI through soccer and we hope to do our absolute best and give our all for the CMI during this tournament. Thank you. I'm Edmund Elida. My daughter is Megan Elida, and she's uh, joining the national team. So I'm very excited for this uh, tournament, and uh, hopefully they get a win. Yeah. So very, very excited, and um, I'm very proud of the girls. It's definitely uh, an honor to be a part of the team and to be one of the older players. Uh, with a team like this, I think we can really uh, Give them a, a competition. Anything you want to say to your parents? Uh, thanks for always supporting me and giving me gas money. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>